And now I'm sitting here with the manager of Vera, Peter Venning. Hello. Hi. Nice to have you here. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Uh, so, how long have you been the manager? Well, I'm not really the manager. I'm, I'm booking the shows in the main hall and I'm, um, I'm doing that since 80. Mm -hmm. And I'm a member of the club since 77. So you've been here basically for all the big concerts? Yes. U2 yes. and Pearl Jam. Yeah. What would you say was the biggest event that ever took place here? Oh, actually, it was Trigger Finger last year. Mm -hmm. We did two shows on one day, oh, on one vicious. night. Yeah. yeah, sold all the tickets in two hours. One show at seven, one at eleven. That and was actually the biggest day event. And it all worked out fine. Perfectly. Yeah. So uh, that you would say also that this is your favorite show that you have ever. Oh, that's not. No, you asked for the biggest event. Yeah. So I thought, wow. Well, oh, so what's there your favorite is, then? I've seen about five, five thousand kicks oh, here, so, you so can really choose it's one. really hard to pick one out. But I know the U2 kick. Yeah, it's the most. For one hundred people, that. and it was amazing. We were thinking this band is going to be big. Yeah. It actually happened. But yeah, it's not always like that. Yeah, sure. But uh, is there then a band that you really want to see here in the future, or that you're trying to really get now to come here? Right now. Yes. In for the example. future. Oh yeah, but. That's that's a lot of smaller bands that, like in the near future, we we'll, we were working really hard on the Alabama Shakes. Mm -hmm. They did make really good impression uh, on South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas. We already have the Cloud Nothings yeah. playing in May. They did really well over there as well. Yeah, you we have that's, a very that's, busy schedule. This that's year. two bands that uh, stick out. Mm. Well, and uh, what can you tell me actually about what the the thing that I think find most amazing about that is how much uh, you organize things yourselves, how you make your own posters, how you have your own accommodation. So how, how much time does it take into organizing all of this? Like the posters, for example, how does that work? It works like uh, a band is confirmed mm -hmm. and then I put out a mail to everybody, central schedule mm -hmm. with all the timing and all that. So, and, and then the whole machinery is starting to work. Everybody knows what to do. Yeah. So the, the promotion guy, he's, he's makes sure the poster makers get the news. They, mm -hmm. There's about 12 people that make posters. Yeah. Uh, the host knows what to do. The technicians get their papers, their writers. So it's like a, mach a machine that you put in motion. And, mm -hmm. and because we're a club and, and we're on a regular day-to-day -day basis, yeah, you're used to it. And we have good organized groups, so they know actually what to do. Some, sometimes you have a bigger, bigger band, you say, serious. Mm. There's a little column in my schedule, I say, light, sound, serious. Serious business. Most is simple, yeah. so serious is like motorcycle tomorrow, mm. uh, Friday the 13th. Hope it uh, goes yeah, okay. It yeah. uh, they have a night, night liner. It's going to be sold out probably. So that's, that's more serious. Mostly it's not like that. It's like today and it's smooth and simple. Good. And what about this room then? Because is this the room where you store all the old posters, so to say, like your own exhibition of posters? This, is, this room, actually, this was a bar, bar room till 86. And we had little chains in the club. We, we, in, in 86, we moved from a regular youth center mm -hmm. to more a cultural youth center. It was like a little revolution in the club. This, this bar was also, this was a bar, so no, it was bigger. We stopped the bar here. It was also, the hashes were sold here. It was like in all the youth centers, you got the soft drugs were sold in the, in the youth centers. We quit that. Since then, we use it as like a room for the people that work here. Yeah, for the staff, like a for the, room. Yeah, and when the bands, the bands are having dinner here, and because they stay here since we have a hotel since 80, 98, bands have dinner here and also breakfast in the morning. Yeah. And uh, we started putting old stuff on the wall. Oh, but do you still do that? Do you still update for the It's new full. No, yeah. no, no new bands here. It's all history. Yeah, bands yeah. call this, actually, they, they wander around here and they call it the museum. Yeah, it really looks like a museum. Yeah. It's amazing. It's, the, it's a, li a live museum. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's what we want to do with like the whole club. It's not like uh, it's modern and it's 
with all the technician technical stuff and all that. In the back we have like also stuff like this, but it's more organized. In the hall yeah. we have like make nice panels on the, on the, for the posters. Yeah, we've noticed there's a very it's not shabby atmosphere. like this is a bit wild, and yeah. this is more hist historic. Yeah, true, true. But uh, also you were talking about all the people that work here in the club. So I know for a fact that there are a lot of volunteers that work here. Do you know more or less how many? It's about two thirty, I think. Two thirty. That's a lot of people. Yeah, that's about. 16, 17 people that have a job here from little amount of hours to regular amount of hours, I think nine FTEs as you call that. And about 230 vol volunteers. Actually, it's not volunteers. They become member of the club oh, okay. because so we are a membership club yeah. and all the people that work here are the members of the club. And that's still the club that this used to be a Christian student club mm -hmm. changed in 70, 74. It became an open youth center. So originally, it was a debating, debating yeah. club, as far as I know. Veri Adrekti yeah. Amici? Yeah, Veri Adrekti Amici is yeah. the original name. It's still on the door, yeah. the old sign above the door. Uh, it, on Christ, Protestant Christ, Christian yeah. student club, actually, yeah. So can anybody become a volunteer? Or we have, like, uh, uh, vacancies sometimes. So then we have a waiting list of people that want to work here. It's usually behind the bar, that's the biggest amount of people, that's the biggest group. So when we need people, people uh, get a phone call. So there's, an, uh, there's a spot free. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people move from one club, from group to another, from the, the bar people to the lighting people when there is room. Yeah. So that, that's, uh, that's the organization. Yeah, you seem like How a very works. good tight family here. So how would you then characterize that uh, with, let's say, one or two words, if you have to give like a name to? We have in the hotel, we have like yeah. a guest book. Yeah. Bands stay there, so they write, oh, nine, they write nine nice things in it. And there was a band that called it The Ideal Club. Oh, yeah. It, that, that's well, three everything. words actually. Yeah. But, and that's it's also because we, since we, have, uh, we bought a new building about five, six years ago, Paperstraat 33, mm -hmm. yeah. this is Osterstraat 44, and, and we made a connection to that. And since then we have a garage, mm -hmm. and then we have a garage, People, a band comes in, loads out, goes into the rooms, and we have four rooms where they stay. So they actually they are in turn, in turn for like 20 hours, because they come in at like four, usually they go away 12, so they're here for a long time. It's not rushing to hotels or and then come back for dinner and go back to the hotel, come back for some yeah, check. The place the it's it's very, very easy. Yeah. And no, that makes it very nice. ideal for a band on tour because it, it gives rest. Yeah, it, hopefully it makes them want to come back. Yeah, and then when they're tired, they can go upstairs and knock on the door, to sound check time. Yeah. Knock Safe on time. the door, dinner time. Yeah, good, good. So, can you also tell me something a bit more about the history of the place? I know it has a very long history of more than 100 years. Yeah, so it was started as a Christian student club in, I think, I just got a mail from the old students. They have meetings here once in a while. 14th of February, 1899. Yes. Then it was founded as Feri et Recti Amici. True and Upright Friends, mm -hmm. which is still a nice title for yes. a club. Yes, and it still stays valid, that's where it comes from, yeah. from the... So they, they were in several buildings in, 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 in the city and they bought this building, Osterstraat 44, in 1956 mm -hmm. or maybe 55 and in that period, I think for 130 guilders, which is a lot of money yeah. for that time. At that time, yeah. So they, I think they sold all the other buildings and they put all the money into this building. And the, and the, the front part, this part is old Herenhuis, Middle Ages in that time. And the back part was just new. It was a new hall and they need an acti activity hall. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was convenient. <clears throat> since, since that 56, the bar downstairs, the cellar is also a yeah. bar. So it's a really old bar. It's still a bar. So. Yeah. Onwards in the 60s did their work. Also here became more open. In 70, the HBO students could become a member. So that was more white, and in 74 it explodes. The old old people left, 
people that didn't want to be, become an open youth center, they all left. Mm -hmm. A group of people stayed, and since 74, it's an open youth center. Like so it's open Paradiso, Dorn Roshi in Nijmegen, FNR in Eindhoven. Open for everybody. No more membership as it was before. So they had some financial crisis. In a little while, they got subsidy, like all the other youth centers in Holland get subsidy. We got subsidy as well. Went on, 70s, typically 70s, it became from Christian student club, left-wing anarchy, hippie club. Yeah. Oh, typical so also, main point in the youth centers was, it was the only place where you could buy soft drugs. So this was also the only, also in this room it was. That went on till the 70s, early 80s. And 70s, early 80s, music started to become more and more we became like national important podium, yeah. club, rock club. And it's also when you had you two in 1980 as far as I know. Yeah, there was an 80. That was pretty, pretty normal in yeah. the time. All the English bands came over, did a, a small four or five days tour. So. Um, in 86, it became more, the hippie club exploded. As, as in 74, the old student club exploded. It was a big crisis here. There was one part of the, of the club wanted to become a cultural club and the other ones wanted to become easy going, everything's possible club. We went down financially. I ring the bell, said this is going to be wrong. This is, t we're going to go broke. We had a big fight over it. But then you have the ALV, the, 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 the membership board, the big meeting every year. The most people decided to become more the cultural. So we, we changed, a lot of people changed the left again club, little club, hard times. So we, since then, 86, we are actually a modern youth center cultural club. So that's when it turned, alternative cultural club. That's when it turned into what we know it as today. And actually that's the same as in today. And then in, in 97, 98, we could change the hall. It was sound problems. Mm -hmm. So we broke it down, mm -hmm. make a new one. So. No, so the accommodation in 1998. Yeah, and that also, we rebuilt re all that in the back. Nice, long history. Yeah. But in uh, short, yeah, that's the history. Still. But uh, I'm sure a lot of people are curious about the big bands that you had here. Like we already said, you two, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, The White Stripes, Franz Ferdinand. D can you tell us something? Slayer. Yeah, <laughs> Slayer. There's, Curtis the list Mayfield. Is really endless. Yeah. Not only that alternative rock, Curtis yeah. Mayfield, Bo Diddley. Some of the nice stuff. In, in, in the 70s, a lot of blues and jazz, typically student styles in the 70s. Sun Ra is a big name also. Nirvana is in U2 or one of them. Yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah. But uh, do you have some interesting stories maybe about some of them or? No, that's totally, no. It's secret? <laughs> no secrets here now. Well, there was a funny one with uh, Nirvana. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they broke, they were breaking in, I think 91, yeah. and Hole played here somewhere in December 91, so with Courtney Love. They were playing here, they were having dinner actually here. My office was on the other side of this wall. And I got a phone call from England, Nirvana was touring there. It was Kurt Cobain, so I knew him already from 89 when they played here. Our main technician, Edwin, he was touring with Nirvana in that time. He was working as well, he was sitting here as well. So uh, he was like uh, brabbling a little bit and, uh, and then he was, uh, it turned out he was uh, in love with Courtney Love. I didn't know that, but, and uh, he wanted to ask something, but he, he didn't dare, so. And then he actually asked me if I could ask her to marry him. Oh my God. <laughs> I said, well, could, that's a man got to do himself. And so I talked him into it. I said, no, are you ready for it? And I'm going to get her over. So he actually proposed to Courtney Love. Yeah, this and room. then so no, he was on the phone. So, oh, okay. so I got her over and I said, Courtney, uh, Kurt is on the on the phone. He said, uh, I'll close the door. So, uh, and actually, he asked her to marry on the phone on that night. Okay. And then I went to Edwin. I said, Edwin, <laughs> it's a weird, this is a weird story. He actually could actually ask me if I could ask Courtney to. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Wanted to marry him as a typically good. Edwin had been on tour with him for two months, so he knows he knows him a little bit. So yeah, that's typically good. So that was that story. Yeah, nice, great. 
Well, I think that's all the questions that I have for you right now. Again, thank you so much for your time. And Great, thank you. Make sure to remember Vera, the perfect club.